Iranian authorities imprisoned three activists on February 20th for calling to boycott Iran's parliamentary elections set for March 1st and criticizing the Islamic Republic. Ayadullah Saeed Ali Khamenei, Iran's supreme leader, said earlier, Anyone who opposes the elections is opposing the Islamic Republic and Islam. Voting in the election is a duty. Expecting voters' apathy, Khamenei blamed the U.S. in a post on X. A U.S. president once called on the Iranian nation to boycott elections. In opposition to him, people participated with even more enthusiasm. After that, they stopped saying this directly, but they still try to distance people from the elections using various methods. That is false. Polygraph.info found no evidence that the U.S. is trying to distance Iranians from the elections. Arash Azizi, a historian and senior lecturer at Clemson University, told Polygraph Info that the Iranian region's own repressive policies have helped distance people from elections. Thousands of candidates, even sitting and former MPs and the Islamic Republic's own political fractions, have been disqualified from running, Azizi said. In a survey by the Netherlands-based Gaman Institute conducted among 58,015 Iranian residents, 77% of those polled said they would not vote in the March 1st election. On February 5th, Meta removed Khamenei's accounts on Facebook and Instagram, citing repeated violations of our dangerous organizations and individuals' policy.